Okay, guys, so this is a super controversial thing that I'll say, but I really don't think there is a DSA roadmap. All right, like I know there's no roadmap to learn data structures and algorithms. And here's the reason why, okay? So let's say if you just go on YouTube and type in DSA roadmap, all right? And you just go on YouTube and just type in DSA roadmap. And uh, there's no, I, I have no shade against these videos at all, at w whatever these videos are. But uh, I'm just gonna skip through different parts of these videos to see like what exactly do they mean by a roadmap? Okay, so here, if you if you open up like this guy's video, I don't, I don't I have no shade against him whatsoever. So he says the first day is that you're gonna learn day one and day two, you're gonna learn space and time complexity. Okay, okay, sure, sure. Now, here's the thing is that, then let's see what he does. Okay, from day three to day 10, learn about recursion backtracking. Day three and day 10, learn about recursion and backtracking, okay? It doesn't set it. Okay, you cannot master recursion and backtracking in seven days, right? That just does. It's not that. It's it's impossible. Okay. Now there 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 might be some people who can. You can learn about the basics of recursion and backtracking, but there are a lot of recursion recursion and backtracking problems on lead code that are ridiculously hard. Okay, so it, it, like it, sometimes like if you try to do backtracking and some backtracking algorithms require a lot of pruning. And if you like, sometimes they're ridiculously hard to master. So I don't think you could actually master it in seven days though. But anyway, let's keep going. Okay. Learn about basic data structures. Okay. What does he mean by that? Cause there, there's a lot of data structures. What does he mean by that? Okay. Okay. So learn about arrays, linked lists, stacks, and queues. Okay. So here's the thing is that you can learn these data structures and you still don't know how to use them. Okay. So you can learn anything about arrays. You can learn about linked lists. You can learn about stacks and queues. And it could take like, I don't know, th this guy's saying take 19 days to learn it. But you could not, you could learn, you practically could learn like all the methods of each of these and still not know how to use them. Okay. So they're pretty much useless in an interview and it, it's not going to take you 19 days to master how to use any of these. And some of these like require like actual, like, um, actual like implementation. Like sometimes linked lists, there's some linked list problems where it's like, Hey, you have a doubly linked list. You have to try to find like the median or something. And that, that takes more time to think it's actually like thinking skills that, rather than, Hey, this is like, just learn about the linked list, right? Learning about the linked list is not going to help you solve some of these problems. You know what I mean? Also same as like stacks and queues. Um, just cause you know, stacks and queues does not necessarily mean like you could, you could, you will be able to solve any interview progression. Okay. So he's saying that it takes 19 days to do that. Okay, sure. But let's say you do get 19 days. What do what do they do afterwards? Okay. Let's see what he does. Okay. So now, now start doing contests. Okay. Sure. Sure. Okay, do contests. Okay, um, I have no problem with that. I think contests are a good way to learn, but I just don't. I don't know how you could do that in like nineteen days. But let's let's just continue going forth. Okay, now he's just promoting some coding studio thing, which I have no idea. Maybe he's trying to promote this like thing to buy. See, here's a problem that I have with like DSA roadmaps from YouTubers. Sometimes they just want to promote like a certain software or a certain course to sell to other people. Like this is my, my, my main issue is like, sometimes like, I don't know, there's, there's a lot of like these YouTubers who just literally just here to like sell courses to people thinking that they could, thinking that once you have this dream that you'll be able to, you know, get to your dream company once you buy this course, which I just don't think that's true. Okay. All right. So now what is the next day? Day 11 to like day 31 to 45. Okay, fine. Let's see what he's just talking about that. Okay. Now we're learning about searching, sorting, hash maps, trees, heaps, sliding window. Okay. So first of all, I, from, from what I've seen before, um, I'm not sure if like sorting is really a thing that like interviews require nowadays. Um, you, it's, if you want to learn sorting algorithms, it's fine. But like, this is not. It's, I don't think they're going to ask you to code a quick sort, but I mean, it's sure it's good to know, but like, again, you can't really learn all this in like 15 days because it's ridic ridiculous. Okay. So now we have more sorting. Okay. So we have bubble sort, insertion sort, selection sort, merge sort, quick sort. Okay. So all this stuff, they don't really, in an interview, they don't really, they don't really ask you this, but I mean, if like, if you want to, you can, I just don't see this, this at all. Okay. We, okay, so now, now we have trees, heaps, sliding window. Okay, so here's the thing is like, these are just like random topics that I just don't think you can master in like 15 days or 14 days. 
And there's no shade against these people, these YouTubers who say there's D DSA algorithms for beginning to advanced level. I don't think you could actually become beginner to advance in 90 days. In my opinion, that's just not possible. Okay. Like, it's just not like, otherwise, like there people, it, it wouldn't take like a competitive programmer to get from gray to red in like five years. Like those people literally spent like hours trying to get to like red. And those guys are like the masters of data structures and algorithms. But to be honest, I don't think that just doing 90 days of these topics, just getting a breath, like a breath overview is going to help you just master data structure and algorithms for placements. I just don't, I just don't see that, but let's continue. Okay. Um, so then you have breath first search, breath, death first search, shortest path. Okay. They don't ask you this in an interview, but it's, that's fine. Okay. Prim's cross schools. I don't think they asked you this anymore. Strong. They really don't ask you this. Dekashuga's algorithm. Topological sort, maybe. Shortest path, vertices, no. Belmont Ford, yeah, maybe. DSU, they don't, I don't think they ask you that. But so you have to be very unlucky to get a DSU question. But then they, then he's doing dynamic programming last. I think you should do dynamic programming with recursion. But. Okay, then now learn about OOP. See, here's the thing is like if, okay, if you want to actually want to get a job, object-oriented programming is actually way more important in my opinion. Like learning how to develop software, learning how to like actually debug code, develop software. Those are the most important things in software development, communication skills, talking with people, you know, how to write like design problems, like design, like, I don't know, large systems, APIs. Those are the most important things. So if you're going to leave that all the way to the last part, I don't think that's a good idea, but. Because like once you actually learn all this stuff and then let's say you somehow master this all in 90 days, okay? Then after the 90 days, what are you going to do? Like, like, it's like, okay, so after the 90 days, you mastered it, right? And then you get a, you get this interview and then you somehow ace the interview, okay? If you don't know how to code object-oriented programming and don't know design patterns, you're kind of screwed in the, in the actual job and you probably will get fired. But I mean, this is just, this is my opinion though. Some more topics will help you perform better in online tasks. I don't know. I don't know what he means by 81 to 90, but that, that's his, his, that's his, that's his roadmap. Um, no shade to other YouTubers, but I just don't see like roadmaps actually a thing like that. You can you just, you just can't master something in 90 days. Okay. Let's look at other, let's look at other roadmaps. Okay. Okay. So we have learn a program language 1.5 months. Okay. Okay. That might actually take longer, but whatever um two weeks simplify dsa with frask okay so here so he, i'm guessing he's trying to sell his course then is this the guy okay so this guy is he's trying to sell his youtube solutions so here's the problem it's like if you're gonna if you're gonna like s sell people this dream of oh i'm gonna get into fang all this stuff and then sell people and say hey buy my course i'll get into fang that's just like kind of scummy in my opinion i don't know like some people want to profit off of this but I don't know. This is just, this is just my opinion. Okay. I, I just don't, I don't, I don't think it's a good idea to just like, just think that, Hey, there's a roadmap that helps you just 90 days. You'll become an expert at, I don't know, data structures and algorithms. I just don't see that occurring, but yeah. Uh, okay. At least this guy's like more reasonable. His time frame, two weeks, a month, at least that seems more reasonable. Right. Um, but yeah, this is a reason why I don't, I don't really want to create roadmaps. I could create like a list of topics, videos for you guys to want to learn, but to be honest, there's really no roadmap. Um, like we could go through like grokking the coding interview and they have some patterns that we could go through and then we could just go through like, I don't know, most common questions, maybe blind 75, but there's really no roadmap to just master everything. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later.